Yo, what is up gamers? It's Sebastian here coming to you with a deck profile from the YCS, the remote dual YCS in Europe. Um, like 1800 people entered and I made it um, to day two with an H21 record. So I finished um, 8 2 1, which is a like, good record, good record, I think. I got 60th place. My draw was like completely out of anyone's control, so it's just like nothing I can do. But um, yeah, I played Dragon Link because I didn't know what deck to play, so it was either this or Sudiac. So I played Dragon Link. And let's get into the deck profile. Um, I think it's like a really cool deck. It was like super fun to play, so I'm like actually excited to like show this. So, like, fourth one, the main deck, we're playing. Um, Free Tracer, we play one recharge of one synchron. Um I don't I didn't want to play another level four because I just wanted to have like more extenders as opposed to more rockets. I um, mean then I didn't play the second synchron because I'm playing Remus, so um having the second synchron for Hauki isn't relevant. And I wasn't trying to play like I feel like there's better ways to play control than like Top deck synchron into chaos folder. Uh, top deck synchron into hot red. So I didn't want to. Like, so I didn't like care about top deck in the synchron. So I only played one. And then we played uh, one absolute. Um, I couldn't. I, I considered playing two, and then I realized I'm stupid. So I played one. And then we played a uh, free quick dawn still uh, boot scepter, uh, and that's it for like the rocket package. And then for the dragoonity package, we play such a massive engine. We play three Remus, one legatus. Uh, to the fiend and that's it and um, the reason why i'm going for a small package as opposed to a big package is because um i didn't like opening bad cards and if you've read dragoonity glow you realize it says it's a bad card same with mistletane same with baby walk sephiroth atom like what the fuck are these cards doing in my deck so i cut those to just play that very minimalist engine where it's like because of Remus, if you open any two dragons, the bare minimum you'll do every time will be um, will be Seal Savage off of just two dragons. And that's bearing in mind that you don't play the game with a two card hand, you play a game with a five card hand, so you're going to be doing more than that usually. Um, and then like if you open Remus um, and like any dragon, then you can use it to make Gay Dirk to search for like a baby dragon. So you have more ways to get to baby dragons, so like Remus becomes free bodies. Uh, and then like you make a Romanus which searches with Fiend for like Tracer and that becomes like four bodies. So Remus is basically four bodies. And then this is also good off of um this is also good to summon of Hauki um as well. So and then we play Legatus because it's like yeah. Um and then we play two Seifert. Uh I didn't want to play more because we're playing um no, I'll, I'll just show you guys. We're playing free chaos space as well. So we have like free chaos space, two safer, free remus. So that's like eight ways to get to search baby dragons. So I so I didn't feel that I need to play the third safer. My list is forty one cards. You know, Raphael never in special. So I I just didn't know what to cut. Um, when I was at forty one cards already, so that I had to play the the two safer. But also like I know you have like remus is another starter. So that with two safer, three Remus, that's like five starters. Uh, Chaos Space is another three starters. Then there's like, um, I'm playing like Chamber as well. Um, oh, we also have like Black and White Dragon, which I should mention as well. And then we play, um, we play one Chamber. I don't own more than one. I want to try more than one Chamber. I, I don't know how I'd fit it, but um, I only own one Chamber anyways. Um... But yeah, like, I feel like the deck has enough starters. Like, this deck has a 94% chance to open a way to get to two dragons. Which, as I mentioned already, is the bare minimum you need for that combo. Like, two dragons is combo. So this deck basically has um, a 94% chance to combo. How many normal summons is that? Uh, the two safer, one chamber, is like three normal summons. Remus isn't a normal summon because you just discard it from hand. And like, you have so many games where you can play without normal summoning, which is really nice. Um, and then we play free tidying. Because this format is a lot slower, um, I wanted to play free tidying for like the grind game. I mean, in theory, I could cut like one tidying to play 40 cards, but I felt 41 cards was like nice. 
Because that defeat, def your defeat hiding actually came up a lot. And I just, it's just like, the, the format's so slow. Because like, there's only one real combo deck, and that's like Dry Drawn. And like, against, um, against Tri Brigade, hard opening tidying is broken. So like, and then uh, against Strikers, it's like, you play the grind game. Against Santa Mine, great tidying is broken. There's like, so many games there, so just playing free tidying is good. And then we play Rotor, we play Levinir, obviously. And then we play one Red MD, we don't play Black Metal. Because black metal is uh, stinky poo poo. Um, but red MD is broken. Every time you see red MD when you go second, it says you win the game. That like, I don't think I've not OTK when I've opened red MD going second. Um, like the card's just fucked. And then like going first, he's like really, uh, he's like alright. Like going first, like if I open him going first, I tend to just leave him in hand unless I need him to combo. Uh, but like when, when you're like playing into a board, what MD just helps win so hard. And then you can also like do things like you can discard it for the fiend and pisty it back and that's like broken as well. And then we play a free Red Dexy Gal Dragon because I, I I would play more than three. Oh I mean fuck. <laughs> more than three Gal Dragon. I would play like two Gal Dragon, but I get shouted at every time I play less than three. So <laughs> so I play three. Um I think the cards are wide. I've even felt LP it loses a lot of value, so it's something that I might honor want to be cut in the future. Um, like, I mean, you still play it because it's like nice with like Boto, it pairs nice with like so many things. I don't know, it's just like broken, it's like, okay, yeah, it's much of evil and it's like good. Okay, never mind. Like, the card's nice. I d yeah, okay. I'm trying to justify, um, I'm trying to justify cutting it, but I can't. And if I'm cool by because hand traps are sad. It's not actually like this deck like, plays for hand trap, but like it stops draw. Um, and then we play free ass because it's the best hand trap into like everything. And then we play free gamma because I hate being drawed. And then our forty first card is driver. And like, that's it for the main deck. And now into the extra deck, if I can pick it up without dropping everything. Into the extra deck, Joy doesn't really play this format. Um, draw has played this format. Like everyone's, everyone should be side deck and draw. Yeah, okay, into the into the extra deck. Um, we play the three tokens, obviously. And then we play one gay Dirk. This is the only Dragonity Synchro we play. Um, this is because with Remus, it searches Baby Dragon. And then it's just like, it turns Remus into four bodies, basically. Um, it's like, it's like nice. If you open Remus with no dragons, you just make Romanus, you don't even make Gay Dirk. No, you only make Gay Dirk. Yeah. You only make Gay Dirk if you open Remus plus a dragon. Then we play Savage, Chaos Roller, Hot Red. Uh obviously these cards are like good. I would play Striker Dragon. Uh I wish I could play more than one. It actually came up like once or twice when I've been Striker Dragon, obviously as it should do. Um and we played one Pisty. Not having LP was really unfortunate. Um it, it, it did come up like every game. I I wish I had LP. Um, I still won like every game I didn't work. I still won, so it's like fine. Um. Oh well, pretty much every game I won. Uh, pretty much every game I didn't break, I won. But like, it's just man, give me back LP. I'm trying. Um. Well, anyways, we play Halki. Uh, it's really nice with um, with Remus. It's really good. Now you can do a line where you have like Romanus, uh, which we play Romanus. Like Romanus here, you can make Kalki here, summon a, summon a Remus, special summon Legatus. Like this is if you open Legatus, you can go Remus, like make Kalki, uh, Kalki summon Remus. And like, you, I don't know, you have to open like kind of nice, but that's still. Uh, so Kalki summon Remus, special Legatus from hand, link into an Appaloosa. And then you can bring back Remus to make a seals with the Romanus. Uh, which is like a nice combo because the, the Remus doesn't um, lock you out apart from after you've used it. So you can like Halki summon Remus then use Remus from Grave. It's like nice. And you play Quad Ball because it's like the best Link monster ever created in Dragon Link. Like this is better than LP, not gonna lie. Like this card is so fucked. And then we play Triple Burst. Because unironically, um, we need it for the arrow. Like, one, we need it for the arrow if we use Striker Dragon early. 
and two, um, this is specifically against Sky Striker. You just OTK every time if you play Triple Burst. Now like, every time I play against Sky Striker, like this is like the locals I played before I played the YCS. I just kept OTKing because I went like Triple Burst, bunch of big fucking bodies, attack, and I like I attack over the Sushuku or whatever. Rayf negate, and you just win. And then we play um, Appaloosa, uh, because it's good against like everything. So if you can make Appaloosa, it's like broken. Like, try to make Appaloosa as often as you can, I think. I mean, it's just broken into everything, yeah. And then Ball Sword, I don't play Access Code because um, I felt this is easier to game with. So I don't play Access Code. Which like some, like in the OCG, people play like Unicorn, uh, Unicorn Ball Sword, which is like... Uh, no, not Unicorn Ball Sword, Unicorn Access Code, but I feel like, I feel like Ball Sword's better. And then we play Sayuta, which I made like once, but the reason why I only made Sayuta once is because this card you're never making game 1, this card you're only making game 3, this is because we always win game 1, because you only make this going first post side to search for your um, Imperial Order or Anti-Spell. Now you only make it, um, you only make it like going first post side. Otherwise, it's, it's just like, I don't know, I need something to replace LP. <laughs> and then for the side deck, we play um, free Droll, uh, free Nibiru, uh, free Storm, one Harpies, one Reboot, free Anti Spell, Order. Like, not really much to say. Like, every, everyone's main deck should be on. Um, everyone's main deck should be on these cards at minimum. Like, these 10 cards should be in, like, everyone's main deck. Apart from Sky Striker, because that deck sucks. And then, I'm playing, like, Lightning Storm, um, Harpy's Reboot. Because I was expecting that like, a lot of people would refer back to, um, like, Alter Guy, Sub Terror. Like, the, the usual decks that people refer to back after, like, a big ban list. Because the last ban list was quite big. Even though it only banned two cards, it was, like, massive impact. So, a lot of people just refer back to, like, monkey decks, right? Which... So it's just like, yeah, okay, I lose to Prank Kids if I see these. So I don't side these in against Prank Kids, I, I think. I mean, I, ne I never play Prank Kids because I was expecting that deck to drop off because that deck's bad. Um, it's just I, I want it to be good into like Alter Geist, Sub Terror, Eldritch. This is good against Tri Brigade. Like, this fucks Tri Brigade. That is actually insane how much this fucks Tri Brigade. And then this is like also good into like Santa Man, Great Striker. They just I don't know. I just I just wanted to be greedy. Um, and then like with the order anti spell, um, I played two games where I went first post side. Um, one of those games was um, uh, I I used Sayuja and I drew into order, so I set the order and I won. And then the other game was like I hard opened the anti spell, so I didn't even make um. I didn't even make uh, Sayuja, but like the, the, I made like Sayuja once and it drew the order. So it does have a 100% order draw rate. But yeah, and then the reason for draw is like, draw is, I don't know, like draw, draw felt necessary, I think. And then we played Nib because like, I don't know, it's, it's good against like a lot of the, the random decks. Like, Nib is bad to main deck, but it's, like, really good against the random decks. But, yeah, like, draw is, like, for, like, Drytron Ignister. Like, I don't know. I'm so tired, so, like, I, I don't really... I'm not really portraying, like, the information I'm trying to portray. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that that was my Cyframe strategy. Yo, what is up, gamers? Just real quick, I was looking at my deck buffer, and I realized, oh, I forgot to show you, like, the basic thing I'm doing. Because, like, most people look at the deck and be like, oh, Remus? Does like the the crystal ring, everything, everything like Seven Wars, Baby Walk, etc. Because I'm not playing like those bad cards, so I realized that oh, people might not actually know what my deck does, which is probably not a good thing. So I'm gonna quickly include like these combos at the end of the video, so for you guys. So we're gonna start with normal summon save, but this is, like this is pretty much any two dragons. Um, it's like this combo, and then this is, like the very basic combo. So you normal save it, send itself to add black. And then we banish the saver to summon black, link black into striker, striker on black two, add white then boot sector, and then you will banish uh, black for the white dragon, link these two into a Romulus, Romulus F, add Ravine, 
to activate Rafine, uh, discarding any card to add a Dragonite to hand, you'd add Remus. Remus effect, search with Fiend. Then you can special summon Remus from your grave because you control Dragonity. Uh, link these two into a uh, Haradhic seal. And then you can activate the second with Fiend. Uh, discard uh, another card, send Dragon to Grave, send Absolute, get Tracer. And then in this situation, because we open with Safer, we have to special summon the Tracer of Boot Sector. Target Boot. Summon Recharger, Synchro these two into a Savage, and then use the effect to attach the Romulus. And this is the basic combo, like, I'm sure, like, maybe you can do more if you want to, like, get Buck Vowed with the deck, but, like, this is the, like, floor, this is the skill floor of, like, the deck. There's any two dragons will get you to seal Savage. And like, that's the bare minimum. And, like, in such a simplified format, Seal Savage is going to be enough like most of your games. Now this is just straight up going to be enough most of your games. And like, this is with only 3 cards in hand. Now bearing in mind like this is um... You, you don't play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh with only uh... 3 cards in hand. You play the game of Yu-Gi-Oh with like a 5 card hand. So also bear that in mind like the more, the more extenders you summon the more you can do. Um... But yeah, but yeah that's the first combo. And now here's a, um, another combo, if you open Remus plus any, uh, any dragon that or well it's like Remus plus any dragon or Remus plus like Remus plus any light or dark card like Gamma. So we would use um, Remus effect to add Rafine, uh, activate Rafine, discarding uh, one of the discards to search for Dragonity, add Negatus. Because we control the theme, we can special summon Negatus. Because we control Dragonity, we can summon Remus. Uh, Synchro sits into a Gate Dirk. Use Gate Dirk to add a black or white. This is the wrong one. Uh, don't make that mistake in, in the natural event, kids. I would add white here because we have like a dark. Discard the dark. Summon white. And then you can make Striker here or not, depends. You'll make Romanus, Romanus 1, right 2, add the black, add the theme. Um, then you can banish uh, black to summon right, link these two into a Heretic Seal, and then activate the theme, discard in the last card to send Absolute to the Grave to add Tracer. And then, now here you would have, like, because of Gay Dirk. You have like the possibility to um, have that setup where here you can go like let's go normal summon pist uh, normal summon tracer destroy the ravine uh, summon recharger now one line of play you can do here is like make the savage right so like, and then this is like the same as before but depending on like what you opened like let's say this rocket synchron was um, a chamber dragon made uh, in this instant if the rocket synchron was a chamber dragon made then. You could, um, instead of going straight into Savage, you could go like Tracer into a Striker, um, add Boot Set to launch, uh, Recharger into Pisty, um, Pisty target the Chamber, which by the way, um, because people will try to, they cannot bail Pisty if it targets a banished monster. So this also plays around bell technically. You can Pisty bell, uh, Pisty chamber, chamber to add tidying, and then a striker on itself. Uh, add back recharger. Or you can oh you can also just like striker for Pisty. It like depends on what you want to leave up. I think striker for Pisty might be better actually. Now that I think about it. Uh, add recharge to hand, discard recharge to summon tracer, and then you can make a savage. And this way, it's like, I mean, like, this is what I was talking to you guys about about like, Yugo isn't Yugo isn't a game where you play with a two card hand or a one card hand. Yugo is a game where you play with a um with a five card hand. So like, that you can see this like how different the combo becomes if you open like chamber instead of rocket synchron. 
Um, e like even like in that situation, I showed you if you open rocket synchron, you could like summon the synchron back, um, uh, make quad ball. Uh, what I'm saying doesn't work in normal. <laughs> I know, but like, like what I'm trying to say is like, whatever you open, like complete, you change this what, how you can play, like. There's like, there's just so many variations, and this is a very much like play with your hand deck. Like, it's hard to show you guys like the set combos with this deck because of um because of how like diverse your hands like make your like because of how diverse like your hands just become. So I mean, I tried to show you like the bare minimum that you can do, but like Taylor was going to show that it's like the bare minimum, not like what it can do. There's also going to be more like YCS deck profiles on the channels. Um, more like, probably like bubble deck profiles, because a lot of people that topped aren't showing their deck list because they have to play with the same deck list for top 16. So a lot of people that topped like, aren't showing their deck list. So the top 16 deck profiles, if they do happen, probably won't happen until um, end of the month. But I got like some, I got some other deck profiles lined up for. But yeah, that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you gamers uh, later.